Hello everybody and welcome back to the Dragon's Library. With 2022 over and the fresh new year of 2023 stretched out before us, I wanted to spend some time going over some of the most notable pieces of media this year. Since I cover a lot of things on this channel, however, I broke up the award videos into four shorter but separate videos. Shows, movies, games, and books. Each video will talk about a few notable entries before giving my final thoughts on the best entry in that category. Only things I have reviewed can win, but I may talk about some stuff I didn't review specifically in this video. As you may have guessed, this video will be going over the best shows of 2022. I will talk about a few notable shows before giving my thoughts on the best show of the year. Only things I have reviewed can win, like I said before, but I will be taking a time to talk about why I never reviewed certain shows that I will be talking about closer to the end. With our introduction out of the way, let's get started with the animated stuff. Now, I love animation, and this year we were spoiled for choice in both Western animation and anime. First up, there was the series finale of Amphibia, a fantastic Disney Channel show. It had its final season this year, and man, was it a heck of a ride building on everything that came before with spectacular, awesome animation, great characters, and just a kind of melancholic ending, which I liked. Truly an excellent series that any animation fan will want to experience. In contrast, the Netflix brought back The Dragon Prince with more mixed results. The series, while still good, feels lacking compared to the epic battles and intense character drama of Season 3. While certain scenes were exhilarating, the season as a whole felt padded and lacking in substance. Moving on from there, we had Inside Job Season 2, closer to the end, back in November, I believe. It was able to do what the Dragon Prince could not, building on its first season with excellent comedy as it dived deeper into the main character Reagan's growth. If you're looking for a fun, animated adult comedy, you really can't do much better in 2022. Speaking of comedy, Netflix makes a second appearance with Wednesday, a fresh take on the Addams Family that brings their offbeat, dark humor into yet another decade. Wednesday goes to a boarding school and gets embroiled in this larger murder mystery conspiracy that hints at a larger pl ongoing plot that will happen in a second season if it gets one. If you like CW-style dramas and morbid jokes are your thing, then the Addams Family are opening their doors. Finally, before we go over my favorite show, let's talk about the two massive things I basically ignored. House of the Dragon and Andor. With House of the Dragon, it's a bit more complicated than Andor, so I'll start there. While a Game of Thrones prequel with even more dragons would seem right up my alley, I will not be watching it. There's a pretty simple reason for this. I don't trust the writers. This is the same basic group of people who destroyed the last season of Game of Thrones in a desperate attempt to one-up the audience that had already figured out how it was going to end. I do not trust those people to prioritize the plot over clever twists. It's why I don't like watching in my Shyamalan movies most of the time, or why I'm often disappointed with them. So, I'm just not watching it. Unless I hear the ending is amazing after, like, a few seasons. As for Andor, while it is excellently written, I've just had my fill of Star Wars for now. And would rather cover a show that I can offer a unique opinion on instead. If you want an Andor review, then the rest of YouTube has more than got that covered. I just don't feel like I had anything interesting to offer to that conversation. This brings me to my second best show, a last minute candidate that nearly overtook my number one, Pantheon. Now, Pantheon is an amazing work of science fiction and animation. It is also the only reason to get a free trial of AMC+, Plus, but a pretty good one at that. The show explores the nature of humanity, consciousness, and technology, a new technology with the ability to scan human brains and revive the consciousnesses or brains of people as uploaded intelligences, unleashes new digital gods on unsuspecting humanity. I won't say more than that because the show has loads of twists and turns and season one was a complete roller coaster of a ride, and I want new visitors and viewers to see that for themselves. Just trust me and give it a shot. I really need a season two, so the more people watch this, the better. So, with all of these great shows out of the way, what could possibly be the best show of 2022? Now, if you've listened to my review on this, or heard me talking about it, then it should come as no surprise that my show of the year is The Sandman, Netflix's adaptation of Neil Gaiman's iconic comic series by the same name. In the show, a cult attempts to bind death, but instead captures her brother Dream, after spending nearly a century in his new prison, Dream returns to his realm to find it in ruins. In order to mend this, he must seek out his various relics and retrieve them. 
This starts an odyssey across Earth, Hell, and the worlds beyond that stretch the limits of human imagination. Tom Sturridge shines as Dream in an inventive and visually impressive series. The show's writing ponders on the nature of death, dreams, and the reality we experience, all while paying tribute to one of the best comic series of all time. It is a fantastic show, a great adaptation, and I'm a Neil Gaiman fan, so what, what else can I, can I really say? <laughs> there is no doubt in my mind that The Sandman is the best show of 2022, and I have not heard anywhere near enough people talking about it. If you haven't seen it yet, then you should rectify that immediately. You can find a link to The Sandman and all the other shows mentioned in the description below. Thank you all so much for supporting the channel in 2022. It's been kind of a rot wild year, and I've had a lot of fun doing this. If you want to hear more from me, I stream on YouTube and Twitch at 7.30pm Tuesday and Thursday. In addition, I'll be getting back to my no so sort of normal twice a week Wednesday, Saturday upload schedule after uh, this Saturday, because that will be when the last of these end of year lists come out. With the video out of the way, we got the end screen. There's a few things on screen at the moment. You should see the video YouTube recommends you, playlist of stuff from 2022, and also my channel button. Go there, subscribe, watch some other stuff. Uh, check out the Sandman review, or just go watch the Sandman. Seriously, go watch it right now. Uh, like and like this video and subscribe if you have not done so. This has been the Dragon's Library. Bye.